Welcome to RVMax.us YouTube video for this 2007 Country Coach Affinity 700 Custom. Take a look at it. It's a gorgeous coach. It was a trade-in on a Prevo. Speaking of a Prevo, Country Coach motorhomes are built about as good as a Prevo. They ride on Dynomax chassis, just a beautiful riding machine, 45 foot long. We've got uh, lots of good stuff and some uh, challenging stuff. It's a 2007, anyhow you cut it, it's about 10 years old with about 45,000 miles on a 600 ISX Big Cummins with a 15,000 pound towing capacity. Beautiful color scheme, take a look at it. It's full body paint, it's like a champagne black, gray, some turquoise blue. Beautiful color scheme, four slide out. Uh, we got garage awning in front. We got electric awning on the windows. I'll show you all that. So the purpose of this video to show you good, bad, and ugly. There are lots of good stuff in it. I mean, you know, being a 10-year-old may have a few uh, flaws here and there. We've got a 2005 of 2011 Michelin tag tires, and they're not showing any uh, weather checking. Rest of the six tires are brand new rubber. They're 2016. 09 of 16. They have less than a thousand, fifteen hundred miles since the new tire has been installed in 2016. Uh, lots of underbelly storage. Uh, let's show you a few of them. We also have new batteries. I believe this is a six new coach batteries. And we also installed two brand new cranking batteries just about two weeks ago. So no worries there. The coach was winterized uh, last winter and we had PDI done, that stands for pre-delivery inspection, slide out tray. We take any kind of trade, you have a fifth wheel truck, gas mud home, class A diesel, even cars, just no classic cars. But we take anything on trade, got four chairs, got a TV hookups outside. So we got new Michelin tires all the way around. Beautiful, beautiful coach. No 3M film issues in the front. Take a look at the front one piece panoramic windshield. Uh, generator slides out. Here's a couple of little small clipping markers, just a surface scratch. Um, if anything wrong, I'll show you. I can't go over everything, but we're going to try our best. All right, we've got a slide out open. Let me open the slide here for the. It's really slow, but uh, it's got a, let's see, uh, 10,000 watts, or is it a 12.5? We're going to know in just a second here. It is a 12,500 watts generator, about 2,100 hours. All right, it runs good. So generator is on end with the 2100 hours. We'll get that back in. Got all your electronic components and fuse and relays are located right here in this storage. Two slides on the passenger side and two on the driver side. Uh, we have electric awning. They are operated with a button inside or I have a remote control. I can, I can control all these window awnings and garage awnings. So lots of underbelly storage again. No body damage as you can see. I just can't get over it how nice outside is. The exterior, I'd give one through 10, I'd give it about eight, eight and a half. It's that nice. Uh, very, very nice. No uh, big gouges or fiberglass repair needs to be done. Just a beautiful outside. What we'll do, uh, we'll try to show you some pictures up on top. Back here, it's got ISX. Cummins diesel. We detail mud on but we don't wash engines or nothing so we'll let you see it like it is. With a 45,000 mile that ISX diesel hasn't even broken in yet. Uh, just beautiful Dynomax ride. 600 horsepower. 15 liter Cummins diesel. We've got 15,000 pound towing capacity. That's a, that's a lot. So you got any race car trailer bring it out. You can pull it with it. Go back up in front back here let's see I think this is where the two cranking batteries go we just put them on like last week literally 10 days ago a 
Once again, it was a trading motorhome. It's not a repossessed. So it's got a list of troubles of, unlike some of the repossessed motorhome, people can't make payment. They cannot take care of the motorhomes. Simple as that. Uh, let's stop a video and I'll show you uh, um, some awnings and stuff here. Top of this entity is uh, fiberglass roof. Got two garage awnings. I have not been able to open the back. It may be an operator error because I see a two boxes, junction boxes and two wires are going in. The front awning works. We'll show you just in a little bit. The back one I haven't got to be able to op open it yet. But it's got two garage awning. The one works in the front. Got three roof air conditioner. Uh, got a dome dish up on front. No worries here. Uh, so let's get back down and finish our video. A good, good solid roof. All the caulking is in good shape. No water leaks. So this is the roof. Let's get back down and finish our video. We've got this garage awning open here. Uh, another window awning is open. I could not figure out the uh, bedroom window awning opened up. Uh, also the garage awning on the back. I don't know if it's a fake wire going in there. If it's got one and it's not working. Uh, in my video, I'm gonna I'm a straight shooter. Tell you like it is. So. Uh, it's a uh, consignment, but I am able to take a trades uh, uh, being an RV dealer. We got a few other coaches here, as you see, but uh, this is the probably nicest coach I got right here. Uh, speaking of all the stuff that works or not, uh, there is a Richard's RV Service Center that, who done PDI for me last year uh, or earlier when it got cold when I got the coach. Uh, they are the one our certified uh, RV service facility. They can give you a walkthrough if you like to pay extra for them to fix any of the other stuff and uh, or give you a technical walkthrough. And if you guys are uh, familiar with a country coach, you may come and show me a button or two that I don't know how it works. It just got lots of buttons. It's a, just a high dollar coach. All right, so we got steps that work. Uh, I've got it on a camp mode. Well, let me show you that too, how that works. Steps on and off, entry step. All right, we got it off. So that's how it works. So there are lots of stuff working. Some of the stuff that don't work, not necessarily they don't work. I may not know how they operate. I'm just gonna be quite honest with you. I've got personally American Eagle and it's got a lot of gadgets and I finally learned and I'm still learning. This coaches may take a little learning curve to learn everything. All right, come in in this coach. Take a look at it. Beautiful, beautiful coach. Uh, just a couple of bulbs on the ceilings are burned out. Uh, you can put those on because I'm going to sell it at wholesale or below. So, uh, you know, I want to show you everything. All right, look at this driver's seat. Oh, I see why it's vibrating. It's got a... Man, you got all kinds of buttons here, gadgets. So, uh, beautiful, just a gorgeous... Uh, you know, no, no, no rips or tear. This is again a high caliber coach. All right, over here we have electric. Um, let's see, there was an electric button for this, and I'm gonna find it. It's somewhere. Like I say, there are a lot of gadgets in here. Tilt. There you go. That's tilt. And that's telescopic. Okay, so it's all electric. Okay. Just lots of buttons. If you're afraid of buttons, don't want a high dollar coach, you're on a wrong channel. This is a beautiful coach. I mean, here's the thing. It was sold for eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars $900,000. Here is your chance to just steal it at a bargain price, okay? I'm going to crank it up here and show you. Uh... Fires right up, 45,000 miles. We've got a little computer system. It's, uh, it's called uh, da, 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 right here, Dash Home. Now, let's see, it's called Camera V, Dash AC. It's got a button that turns this uh, thing, VMS, that's what it's called. Uh, video Management Control. So you, you control here, you know your trip meter, your scan, the engine diagnosis. By the way, when I just went through, it has no faults, no engine faults. Uh, you could also get a third-party inspection on a mechanical. I'd be glad to take the coach to Cummins Atlantic, about 30 miles from here. Uh, if you want to have it checked out, you can. Also, Richard's RV, as I mentioned earlier, they can, they've done PDI last year. That means pre-delivery inspection. Uh, no water leaks in the water system. Aqua hot heating, everything works. Um, 
So just a good coach with a few operator air that I don't know. We got a big sharp TV. I don't know what is this 47, 50 inch TV with a nice surround sound system here. Really nice sounding. Got a CD, uh, got a, a direct disc receiver up on top. This is a TiVo, TiVo series, so you can record TiVo. Um, it's got a, so many gadgets, I'm gonna tell you. Over here is all the awnings buttons, all right? You got a antenna raise, you got all the awnings, window shades. I mean, I could do, say, close all and watch. Look at all the, um, well, let's see, over here, this one is closing this one right here. Uh, privacy curtain. All right, let me go open all, okay. When you say close all, you see all the uh, shutters back here. Look at the window, all the window shades, and I'll do open all again. So just keep looking at it over there. Let's see. So push of a button, everything. All right, so he's got a lot of gadgets, as you see. Uh, over here, we've got a big bay window, your recliner with the ottoman. Over here, this this is a opens up in the bed. It's like a magic sofa. It'll open up in the bed. The poster is in very, very good condition. It looks like no one sat on it. it Literally, I mean, it's just in really, really good shape. Got a nice marble type countertops and a kitchen area. We have a we have a Princess Gourmet Series Euro flat stove here, electric flat stove. And every door, when it opens up, the light comes on. Wow, got even a little string that opens the trash lid. Got dual sinks. Nice wooden cabinetry. Over here, Got a dining table that pulls out and pulls goes back in. And I just want to show you, look at all this paperwork. You would not get this in repo, repossessed motorhome. We got a ton of paperwork. Warranty, manuals, all that stuff is right here. Bunch of paperwork. That's important to have a coach like this. So, And look at the remote control. We got a galore of remote control. I'm going to add another one to it. It's uh, one right here. I'm going to bring it back here. It's got a window awning, and some of these are working. It's a window awning outside. We've got some more awning windows. I mean, it's just all kinds of remote control and paperwork. All this goes with the coach. Again, as I mentioned, a couple of lights have burnt out. Uh, got a nice little office area. Wine cooler, I mean a wine glass holder, nice stained glass windows or, or in the cabinets. A little keyboard if you like to uh, put old computer. I still have a CPU that I like to use or everybody got an iPad nowadays. Well, that's the previous owner's name, Country Coach International, Mr. Herbert Bynum. That's who owned it in Palm City, Florida. Got some more paperwork here. Thermostat is located right here. It's got three roof AC, as you saw. Your room extension or slide out controls are right here. Fantastic fan control is here. And lots of stuff work. We have checked it out. Some stuff we don't know. As I'm saying again, operator air. We got a household, a manna, beautiful refrigerator. We've got a pocket door here. 
that gives you complete privacy and uh, when you come inside the it's got a mirror behind it too so coming back here we got a, a shower with a nice this is not a simulated or what do you call fake it's a real marble as you notice here the part of the uh, glass is missing so uh, you could probably get another one from RV supply company they make them plenty of them uh, but this is how you we, tile is in really good shape I didn't see any cracks uh, in the kitchen area uh, really nice tile work only little crack I see a little gouge is right here okay so again in my video I, I like to show you everything all right very clean carpet back here in bedroom area we have a stack washer and dryer Ariston brand over here we got another total coach system it shows you what your uh, water tank level is inverter generator start it got an auto gen start all that buttons are right here One twenty volt circuit board. If something trips, it's right here. We've got another pocket door for a private toilet here. Pretty clever. I like pocket door instead of a big door that comes in and out on the hinges. So we've got another marble type countertop sink here. A medicine cabinet. Real China toilet, electric toilet, and over here we got a plenty of a counter space. Another sink, medicine cabinets here. Lots of drawers. Wow, hair curling thing. It's just came with the motor, it goes with it. So back here we got another sliding door that gives you complete privacy. And it locks in right here, so you kind of sort of get the picture. Pretty clean carpet back here in the bedroom. We've got uh, more window shades, aqua hot heating system off and on system all the buttons are located right here I love this button so they go from red to green I think they call them there's a good technical word for it I forgot right now but um, really nice buttons uh, that you know just gotta figure them out how to work those buttons got another d direct dish receiver another Integra DVD player sharp flat panel TV Lots of storage in here. I mean, and over here we've got a little bit of vanity uh, counter su counter surface and four drawers. Now, back here, I'd like to show you. It's got a nice coat closet. Some shelves behind there, and on the bottom right hand side you got a safe to put some of your cash jewelry or smoking gun <laughs> any of that be going right there all right now the bed you see it it's in the upper mode like at a night you want to read something uh, you don't have to extend or retract bed in order for two slides to come in and out it just added features so it's got a button right here we track and extend. So I'm extending a bed right now. So that's how it works. And it works fine. So all the slides works. It's got a HWH air leveling. It works. The generator runs. Got 2100 hours. Runs really good. Got a 2016 date code tires. So just to cap it off, the motorhome was in Florida. We drove it to North Carolina. Now it's in South Carolina. It runs really good. PDI has been done. Aqua hot heating works. Uh, 
you know, like I mentioned, a few buttons that could be operator error or you may have to get them fixed or, you know, a few flaws here and there. But overall, a good coach, a uh, high dollar coach that you're going to buy it at a great price. I mean, nowadays, some of the cheap diesel with a two, 300, ga a 300 horsepower cheap diesels are like 250, 300,000. So I'm going to be asking cheaper than you can buy some low end diesel. So this is your opportunity to get in a high-end diesel at a great bargain price, okay? They don't build any more like this. This is a quality built coach. Uh, I take any kind of trades, fifth wheels, uh, gas motorhome, diesel motorhome. Uh, if you got any uh, car or truck, we'll take anything on trade. No real estate or any classic cars, okay? But uh, we'll take a trade and uh, we're motivated to sell this motorhome. So give me a call, 864 404-0054. I prefer text communication, but if you don't know how to text, no worries. Just leave me a voicemail and I'll get back with you. So that number again is 864-404-0054. Uh, we have a lien-free title ready to earn your business. Thank you for watching this video on 2007 Country Coach Affinity 700 Custom at a bargain price. Have a great day.